Hi and welcome to Duster Trails. We now invite you to see our one year testing analysis for the Greber 83 tire. Also remember that in this video you do have in the top corner the tire pressure and driving mode. The Greber 83 is a predictable and safe all-terrain tire in all weather. In our testing you will see the 4x2 versus 4x4 differences on the same surfaces and inclines. This would allow you to more easily observe the traction as you will be able to determine from experience if the situation matches your expectations. The tire has great results on comfort, noise, wet braking, resistance and fuel consumption. Our testing show the success and failure of a tire on different zones of the same surface area. We see decent performance on snow for an 80 with this particular design geometry and straight sipes. For the potential casual driver, the tire requires on mud and grass some level of strategic inertia and positioning. This is an all-season tire with the M plus S mark and snowflake symbol. Grabber 83 has the best all-terrain tire rim protection. The tire excels in summertime. As usual, we cut the tire and investigated its build design and measurements and compared it with other all-terrain tires. The manufacturer put its design focus on open shoulder, traction ridges, traction pockets and different angles straight sipes. General tire invested in chip and cut resistance, so we very rarely seen silica forced splits. They also have good stone bumpers and strong steel belts. Interestingly, the Grabber 83 has a more even soil footprint at different tire pressures, giving us the same results even if you try to deflate them a little. Once you master the tire's needs, it should perform okay. It has good results in amateur competitions, though inertia management is needed. We've seen excellent results on wet asphalt, and this is one of the safest AT on road. This makes it a versatile but still road overland oriented all-terrain tire. It is one of the best lateral grips when compared with other AT. All our testing data goes into our AT chart, so see our Facebook group for more details and grades per category. This means you can more easily observe for yourself the tire limits and capabilities. The tire is also good on dry sand, dust and has excellent gravel performance. The stop-start departures show us more of the 4x2 vs 4x4 surface limitations and this is quantifying the visually presented traction for your own experience expectations. The tire is manufactured in factories in the US and the Czech Republic. Now let's move to some simple driving observations, here you can observe the lateral stability and the constant and good general traction. Observe the limits in 4x2 based on surface type and incline. Here the car moves back in 4x2 to search for soil traction.
Since the 4 times 2 is unable to find traction, 4 times 4 is engaged. This climb is more steep than it is seen, the camera is very high and looking down. The driver must be focused, you can pass or fail in 4x2 on the same surface. Remember the note on positioning, inertia and driving strategy. You can see here the steep incline line of the used ramp. Observe here the 4x4 four four fail in deeper mud with some extra lateral incline. The lateral backspin slide is moving the car closer to the deep trench on the right. Mm, slide the lock. Si no drept, si no drept, 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 si usor, dau in spate. Mai ia de volan, asa, ca esti aproape de sa. Ia o mai pin stanga, asa. A bit to the left and on fresh even snow soil and the 4x4 four four works. This is the most difficult terrain for an AT as it has high water content, slush, buttery mud, grass and a tough soil base. Let's continue looking at a classic climb in the mountains in tough slushy conditions. The stop start is a duster trails tradition for evaluating a ramp when driving alone. It gives you confidence on how the tires will perform up the climb. This is a good moment to decide if you deflated enough your tires.
We have here the same stop start test and we detect no 4x4 traction issues. Is it worth buying a Grabber AT3? Yes, especially for calculated and smart drivers. We hope you enjoyed our work. We are a voluntary community that tests tires, oils and camping products. So please like and subscribe for more.